We've been talking a lot about reopening schools and its connection to child care this week. Well, Congressman Tom Reed has introduced the Back to Work Child Care Grants Act of 2020, which he says will ensure child care uh, providers receive the federal support they need to stay open. Congressman Reed joins me now with some details. Welcome back. How are you? I'm doing well. It's great to be with you, Susan. Yeah. So how do these child care grants work? Well, so what we're looking at is uh, we authored this legislation in partnership uh, with our Senate partner, uh, jo uh, Joni Ernst out of Iowa. And, and I will tell you, talking to Joni, uh, she, she was successfully able to get this into the Senate drop bill. And essentially what we're looking at is nine months worth of direct grants to child care providers so that the child care providers don't have to go through Albany. They don't have to go through the state in order to get access to this money. So they would apply. Uh, it would be used to cover uh, their expenses uh, so that during the crisis, we stabilize the child care industry uh, as much as possible. I will tell you, we're losing operators, we're losing providers left and right. And yeah. so this is the backbone in order to do that. How much money is uh, in the HEALS Act for this? So what we're looking at is under the um, uh, Senate bill, right now we're at $10 billion for this program, and then also an additional $5 billion for the child, child Development Block Grant program that does go through the state. So put it in perspective, the Child Development Block Grant uh, right now has been appropriated at about three at 3.5 billion. So we're talking a significant plus up uh, in the money that would go to child care providers as a result of this. And because it's in the Senate bill, I'm very confident in its passage at the end of the day. So child care grants are a part of the Senate bill, as you say, but there are things that the uh, the Senate bill doesn't do. Uh, it's silent on things like evictions, cuts to uh, it cuts unemployment insurance benefits. It also doesn't provide any state and local aid, which Governor Cuomo has said is absolutely critical. How do you respond to that? So I do agree with the governor, especially when it comes to uh, local aid. And so, you know, I've been in the middle of this fight for over 60 days. Uh, when it comes to making sure that our local governments, our smaller governments in particular, those with 500,000 people or less, uh, get some relief from the federal government. They have received no dollars from the federal government to date. And the dollars that they were That's supposed right. to receive, were supposed to receive uh, the, uh, the $150 billion that was in the previous packages, uh, governors, governors like Governor Cuomo has sat on that money and used that in the state checking account. That was wrong, but you know what? That's yesterday's news, and I'm going to hold the governor accountable on that, but we're going to keep moving forward and make sure local governments get taken care of in the next package. So your SMART Act would provide state, county, and municipal governments with $500 billion in aid, and it seems like a very substantial bill, and it would definitely help New York. You've got a lot of powerful Republican sponsors in the Senate, but it's not in the HEALS Act. How come? <laughs> Uh, because I think when the, they were negotiating and putting their initial markers down, and, and I, don't, I don't govern like that. I, I try to get people in a room up front and come together, and we don't have to have this old-fashioned horse trading. Some folks like to do that, and that's kind of what this uh, got caught up in. But at the end of the day, we do have great stakeholders. We have both sides of the aisle, so we have bipartisan, bicameral support for that state and local aid that we designed, with local aid being the primary component of it, going directly to our local governments. And that bodes well for us finding that compromised uh, uh, landing pad that will work to get this done. What do you think about Senator Mitch McConnell saying that he doesn't want to bail out uh, blue states? I mean, it just sounds like some of the Republican leadership in the Senate don't care about um, state and local government. It's not that they don't care about state and local. I've had this conversation with these folks. And what they're saying, and there's some legitimacy to it. If you look like a, at a state like Texas and you look at a state like New York and you see the fiscal hardships, New York State had a $6 billion budget deficit that it just papered over. It didn't fix the budget problem last year and has had year after year of budget deficits and out of control spending that has now roosted in regards to what we're seeing in regards to its fiscal uh, condition. Now you have the coronavirus situation compared to where Texas you know, they've had pretty stable uh, budgets. They've kept their fiscal house in order. And so what you have is Texas folks uh, potentially coming to the table saying, why should we, when we've done all the hard decisions, made all the hard choices and did everything right, why should you, who had a fiscal problem for years, uh, get the benefit of our hard work? 
So what, what I tell them is they look at, we are talking about the things related to the virus. Just focus on the costs associated to the virus and the impact from the imp of, of the virus on the communities. And I will tell you, that brings people together. That is where the secret sauce of bringing these folks together uh, is. Okay. And that's what I do every day. So real quickly, on today's press call, the governor was uh, angry about another proposal that is in the HEALS Act that would allow workers to pay taxes to their home jurisdiction rather than uh, the city they work in. Uh, he was talking about New York City, and he said it would erode New York's tax base. We have seconds, um, Congressman, but can you uh, talk about that? Are you going to fight the inclusion of that in the HEALS Act? Uh, my, my response is fix the New York state budget, get your fiscal house in order and get your spending under control. And then you won't have this debate uh, each and every time it comes up. And that is the, the real solution to this problem. Congressman Tom Reed, I want to thank you very much for joining me. It's always good to be with you, Susan.